At 11 o'clock tonight, we start with breaking news. President Obama is expanding U.S. military action in Iraq and Syria to target the extremist group that calls itself the Islamic State. Good evening, New Hampshire. I'm Tom Griffith. And I'm Shelley Walcott. The president says he's dispatching nearly 500 more troops to advise and assist Iraqi security forces, bringing the total number of American forces sent there this summer to more than 1,500. Our Adam Sexton has more on the president's strategy against ISIS. Well, Shelley and Tom, the plan is to stamp out the radical forces responsible for the executions of journalists James Foley and Stephen Sotloff and the rape, torture, and murder of thousands of Iraqi and Syrian civilians. From what the president said tonight, this is going to be an American air war supporting more moderate forces on the ground. If you threaten America, you will find no safe haven. In a speech with echoes of the last decade, President Obama announced plans to degrade and destroy the terrorist group ISIS in an operation that will target ISIS forces regardless of Iraqi or Syrian borders. But the president says this will not be a third Iraq war. It will not involve American combat troops fighting on foreign soil. This counterterrorism campaign will be waged through a steady, relentless effort to take out ISIL wherever they exist using our air power and our support for partners' forces on the ground. In addition to several hundred American military advisors already in Iraq, Mr. Obama is sending 475 troops who will support Iraqi and Kurdish forces with training, intelligence, and equipment. The U.S. is also building a coalition of major powers to aid its efforts. Already, allies are flying planes with us over Iraq, sending arms and assistance to Iraqi security forces and the Syrian opposition sharing intelligence, and providing billions of dollars in humanitarian aid. Leading up to this speech, the president faced criticism from opponents for lacking a coherent strategy for dealing with ISIS. Americans don't want a lecture, they want a plan. Now they have it, but Mr. Obama left things open-ended, saying it will take time to destroy a cancer like ISIS. Senators Gene Shaheen and Kelly Ayotte both released statements commenting on the president's speech. Senator Shaheen says she will be pressing the administration to use all of the tools at its disposal, short of ground troops, to defeat ISIS. Senator Ayotte says we've heard tough talk like this before, but she is hoping this time there is action to back up those words. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.